What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield of VGC 2021 Showdown Live. Now, recently I, I competed in this little Mount Silver tournament. They hold them every week. If you don't know what Mount Silver is, definitely look them up. They're on Twitter, they have a Discord. They run tournaments every week and I was bored and I wanted to try out this team that I had sitting around for a while. Uh, it was revolving around a Skullpeed team and I initially went into the tournament saying, hey, this team's kind of bad. I, I don't expect to go very far, but... I actually came really close to top cutting and a lot of the matches were really really close when I lost so I mean some of them were absolute blowouts but some of them were really close so I want to try out the team on a video finally I feel like I, I talked about using Scolipede a long time ago and I never really got around to it but today we're going to be trying it out do me a favor if you guys enjoy this video at any point in time leave a like on it subscribe to the channel and turn notifications all of that helps me out immensely and if I sound a little bit weird it's because I'm once again home for the holidays so I'm not in my usual recording area but yeah let's go ahead and get into it Oh, also, answer the common question of the day. What is your favorite bug type? I'm a big fan of Golisopod. Scolipede's a close second, though. But yeah, so this team revolves around Psychic Seed, Scolipede, and Ndidi Female on lead. For some matchups, other matchups, you just go Ndidi, Stack Attack, but that's beyond. That's that's besides the point. So, Psychic Seed, Scolipede, when it Dynamaxes, it's able to take hits from Nihiligo. I believe it's able to take Timid plus one Meteor Beam with how much special defense I gave it. I might be wrong. I know for a fact it can take at minimum a modest power gem um but yeah it, it's got a psychic seed so it's boosting that special defense uh, and it's got enough attack where it can deal a decent amount of damage to tapu Fini. i believe it's a clean one shot after a swords dance with poison jab uh but as you can see he's running baton pass and he has speed boost so this guy's really dangerous on lead especially with the follow me support essentially i can go for a swords dance and start sweeping with scolipede and once the sweep is over once i've taken out one or two pokemon depending on how well my opponent plays defensively or how good the lead is i can actually pass any of those stats i boosted through the dynamax whether it be a swords dance plus speed over to urshifu thunderous or even stack attacka or a plus three special attack from max ooze over to tapu Fini, plus all that speed there's a lot of passing involved in it it's it's really actually reliable um to get these passes off um i mean i don't know maybe i'll just play absolutely garbage today but it's it's a really fun team i also avoid intimidates on lead most of the time by having the threat of thunderous who is running defiant uh, we have fly wild charge protect and taunt no fighting move on him i figured you know urshifu can cover that running a wicked blow uh choice band urshifu of course wicked blow what am i saying he's got sucker punch close combat u-turn max attack four special defense max speed um, also Lumberry Thunderous is really great for being Vinu Cole. Uh, we have a Citrus Berry Tapu Fini, just the standard spread I run on pretty much every team I need a Tapu Fini on. And we have a Weakness Policy Stack Attacka. Uh, my spread I made that, I don't think this is the optimized version, but I don't really care. <laughs> uh, someone pointed out to me the other day, like, hey, you can get a little bit more defense out of it, but I forgot. And this is, it's the team I brought to the tournament, exactly. Even though the Stack Attacka isn't ideal, um, this is... This is the team I brought, so I'm going to be using it on today's video. And if you guys want to check out the Patreon video, later on I'll be recording a session with this team that has a Sceptile with a little secret on it. So yeah, let me know if you guys are interested in that. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm on Sabato Gigantamax. I always forget exactly how high this account is laddered to, but it's 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 whatever. I mean, I'm going to be doing a live stream later on tonight, I believe. Um, today's the 23rd, so Rafe dude. Is this Ralph dude? It'd be cool if it was Ralph dude. He's a... Uh, this is the 2018 champion, I believe. So, so this is actually one of the tougher matchups for me. It's uh, Weezing plus uh, Regigigas, but there's also the threat of Colossal Dragapult stuff. Versus this, I pretty much always have to go Trick Room. So, unfortunately, we have to avoid uh, using. Like, I just straight up can't bring the Scolipede to this matchup. I believe, even though like it looks great on paper, if they end up going with the Colossal lead or the Regigigas lead, I won't be able to beat what I need to beat. So. We go Ndidi Stack Attack on here. Um, in the back, I want to bring the Urshifu. Just because Choice Band Wicked Blow does a ton of things. Just one thing. Ooh, okay. Just one thing. Uh, and I think the last Pokemon... Don't crit me, please. <laughs> I can't promise that, bro. I got Urshifu. <laughs> Alright. I feel that, though. I feel that, though. Big mood. And I'll bring a uh, Tapu Fini. Yeah, Tapu Fini is just overall a nice final Pokemon. I don't think it's going to be Ralph Dude if he's telling me not to crit him. Ralph Dude is a pro player, man. He's definitely used to getting crit. I mean, I don't think anyone ever gets used to getting crit. But, like, he, he knows it's part of the game. 
All right, Regigigas Weezing. Um, I can completely ignore anything coming up from this Regigigas by going for the follow me in the trick room. And under trick room, I'm going to be underspeeding Regigigas with stack attack as well as everything on my team. Just underspeeding Regigigas is huge. Um, I would like it if they end up going for the taunt on the Indeedy, most likely. Yes, because I am focus Ash. That's great. That is great. And there's the taunt. Okay, sweet. So I have to be really careful. I think expanding force plus max steel spike is my play here. Just because I don't think Weezing would protect her. Weezing should be going for a uh Weezing should be going for a Will-O-Wisp. So I'm gonna get massive amount of damage off. Get a little defense boost. Expanding force will pick up the KO. And now this isn't gonna be doing much to me. He's gonna be going for the max quake, I'm sure. Yeah, there's the weakness policy. And I think I just win from this position just because I'm in such a good spot. Plus one defense, plus two attack, plus two special attack. There's the Rillaboom. I don't even have to worry about it at this point. Let me send in my um let me send in my Urshifu to eat the hit. I guess I can send in Tapu Fini. There's really no threat. Uh, because I can just max steel spike and remove his grassy terrain so I can avoid all damage on my stack. And plus two steel spike is gonna pick up that KO. That's nice. That is nice, bro. And there's the ice move. Max Hailstorm onto stack attack. Interesting. GG. GG, well played. Alright. Um, yeah, I just win. Moonblast into Urshifu. And uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, awesome. So that went really, really well, but no Scolipede action yet. So I want to try to get the Scolipede to work. I definitely, I need to get the Scolipede to work at some point. If, it, if I don't get any matchups where I can just use it, I will literally throw it at the wall and see what happens. This is an interesting team. Uh, hybrid Trick Room. It almost looks like a 2017 team. I believe it's even like legal in 2017, this whole team. Yeah, it looks like it is. Was Charizard in 2017? I can't remember. I don't even know if Mamoswine was, but these guys definitely are. Um... Can I do the Scolipede thing here? I think I can, actually. Scolipede doesn't look bad. Um, I can bring Stack Attacka in case they decide to go Trick Room on me. Because I don't have to Baton Pass. I can just go for it. And Stack Attacka doesn't look bad at all. Um, my last Pokemon, though, I think... I'm kind of stuck here. It looks like Thunderous is my best option, but I kind of want to go with the Choice Band Urshifu. I, part I should definitely go Thunderous, though. Just because Thunderous is disgusting. All right, as they end up going Tapu, Tapu Loco and... See Mammut. I believe that's like that's like a candy bar. Mammut. It's a Mexican candy bar. Let me go for my swords dance and the follow me. I am focus sash so I can eat whatever. You go for an electro and they miss my scolipede, which is absolutely huge. Uh yeah, I'm gonna get a lot out of this turn then. There's the rock slide. Oh, they crit me. I mean their life orbit might have mattered, it might have not. That kind of sucks though, to be honest. Alright. Uh my best bet here might I might lose already. I might lose. My best bet would be to max steel spike into this guy, expecting an earthquake. Um, I want to protect my Ndidi. I don't want to follow me. Because I can live a hit from this guy when I'm Dynamaxed. It's just going to be really close. I, I can't set up the Trick Room either. Because I'm... Mm, can I? You know, I'll go for it. Let's just... In case he's, like, high horsepower, that's the best play. But he's probably Earthquake, considering he has a Charizard. We'll Trick Room up and follow me. I just don't want to lose my NDD so early, you know? Nature's Mad- Ooh, Nature's Madness. As they're high horsepower and they miss- Oh my god, I'm getting so lucky. They're probably mad, but... I don't know. I I had some defense on the Scolipede. I had some defense, you know? 36-4? That's that's enough to live a rock slide. Probably not. I can I can, I can can convince myself that it is. Let me go for the Expanding Force and the Steel Spike. Uh, that is a dead Mammoth Swine. I get plus one defense. I'm going to get a lot of damage off on this Tapu Coco too. Plus two defense from that. I don't know if they can come back from that, since Nature's Madness only does a quarter. And I do have defense, so it's not like it's going to be doing too much to me. Uh, and I'll actually just helping hand this hit. I don't really feel the need to follow me or anything. At plus two defense, I can eat a hit from Araquanid, even with Water Bubble. Unless they're weakness policy, but it, it's not like they're going to even get the opportunity to use that. Psych Attack is going to be able to clean up here. There's no way I lose. Um, how many turns of Trick Room? Two turns of Trick Room. Let me go ahead and take this opportunity to go for the Max Rockfall on you and the Wild Charge on you, and that should seal the deal. I'm not really scared of Charizard. Yeah, I figured they would protect there, if anything. And I still have a turn to abuse the Trick Room. All right, good game. I'm sorry about the misses, but also, I don't know if a uh, non-stab Life Orb Rockside would have KO'd my Scolipede there. So, I, I mean, either way, I think I got what I deserved. I might be wrong, though. All right. This team looks really scary. It's like a hyper offense team with the Celesteel to fall back on. 
Um, versus this team, I actually feel relatively okay leading Scolipede, and that's because Scolipede's carrying the Stomping Tantrum to catch that Nihilo go off guard. Uh, and with Ndidi's support, it isn't bad. I definitely need to bring Thunderous in the back here. Thunderous in the back is going to be great for dealing with Celesteela. And my last Pokemon, I want to go with Tapu Fini, because I definitely, it, it hits a lot of things on this team, and passing speed into Tapu Fini would be devastating if I decide to go with that Dynamax option. So, we'll do that. There's the Grim Snarl and the Rotom Heat. This is actually a great lead for me. Um, if there are if they're not running a dark move on Grim Snarl, which isn't too common right now with dual screens plus spirit break and possible taunts, uh, there's a chance they're not even running a dark move. And like I said, I am running a um <laughs> I am running a focus sash on this guy, so I can take a hit. Let me swords dance up and I will follow me. Ooh, as they send in the Celesteela. Are they going to go for the Overheat, or are they going to go for the Nasty Plot? They go for the Nasty Plot. And I feel kind of tempted to go for the Follow Me plus Max Ooze. It, it's really tempting. I mean, Max Ooze will do a lot to this guy. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. I might be making an absolute horrible play, because they should Dynamax, yeah. I'm going to be doing a decent chunk, though, I believe. That is, let's see if they double into me. Because I can max guard and stuff. They Meteor Beam. Ooh, that's scary. Oh, wait, they're not the item they need to be. I mean, I can take the Meteor Beam. I believe I can. I want to follow me this turn. I, I don't know if I take the Meteor Beam, because I have to be able to max guard in the last turn and get in my Tapu Fini. Or my Thunderous, either one. I'm just going to hope I can take that. That's plus one Meteor Beam from a non-stab Pokemon. It's really close, but I have to go for it. Skullipede, you can take it, right? You can take it. Your plus one special defense and your Dynamax, you got it, right? It's just Celesteela. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, he eats that up. Okay, eat it up like Reese's Puffs. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Let me uh, get in the Thunderous here. Yeah, all right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get in my Thunderous, and I'm actually going to max guard. Or maybe I get in the Tapu Fini and pass into Thunderous. Tapu Fini is actually really devastating in the endgame if I play it right. I'm going to get in the Thunderous here. And I want to go for a max guard. Do I max ooze or do I just max guard? Maybe I just go for the double protect. Yeah, I'll max guard and go for a protect. That probably nets me the most of this turn, because I don't want to lose to Rotom. In case he decides to overheat into Thunderous. They end up doubling into me. Alright, and I do have a lot... <sighs> yeah, I, I think I definitely have to Baton Pass into Finny here. So let me Baton Pass. Um, and I'll go for the Wild Charge into Celesteela. That does a solid amount. You go for the Thunderbolt. I can eat this hit. Oh, they have Flamethrower. Awesome. All right, I just need to land my Muddy Waters and I'm set. Uh, Rotom should be in range of Muddy Water plus Poison Jab. Celesteela is actually really close. I don't, I don't know. And it's plus, plus two Muddy Water. Yeah, okay. We were probably going to get a Tapu Fini Sweep. Oh, that's so clean. That is so clean. There's the Grim Snarl. No, there's nothing they can do here. I can go for the Stomping Tantrum into Hilgo. Muddy Water plus Stomping Tantrum. As long as I connect, I'm fine. And I think even at plus one, I'm, I'm good. I go for Trick. A full Incense. All right. Uh, I still have Stomping Tantrum, though. That's the thing. That's the thing. I, I, do you take a Stomping Tantrum from Neutral? I don't think so. Let me go for the Muddy Water. And they have to make a decision here. You go for the Fake Tears. Awesome. Stomping Tantrum KOs. I win. GG. Well played. We managed to pull off the pass. I told you, man, Skullipede's getting slept on right now. Skullipede's getting slept on. How long have I been recording? And I'm getting notifications on my PC. Thank you. Thank you for interrupting the recording with the notifications. I love you, Windows. And HP. HP. Great PC. Oh, no, I'm not even running an HP. I have a Dell. I just got a new laptop. I used to have an HP. All right. GLHF. It looks like Bulldoze on the Spectrier. Plus weakness policy, Regirock. This just makes me want to go Trick Room. Their Trick Room matchup is absolutely abysmal. 
We'll go Ndidi and stack Attacka. Uh, Urshifu in the back looks great. And I think Tapu Fini. And we'll go with that. I'm really glad we got to do the Skullipede thing. That's It's such a fun little thing you can pull off with this team. And I, I revealed this team to Patreons a couple of weeks ago. And I thought, like, maybe I just need to adjust it. No, the meta literally shifted in a way. Like, I needed to adjust it back then to fix the issues of the team. But the meta just kind of adjusted in a way where it perfectly made the Skullipede team viable. <laughs> <laughs> that's just so funny because like I, I was like yeah it's gonna take a while to fine-tune this team to the to the metagame and then all of a sudden glacier fell off all these things happened and metagross is less common now yeah it now the team is just good <laughs> i should be able to trick room very easily here trick room follow me they go for a volt switch uh into rillaboom cool with that cool with that to be honest they go for a curse they're boosting their defense, but I think I'll go ahead and follow suit here. Let me max Steel Spike into you. Um, and dang, I might even just helping hand that. I might even just helping hand that. Let's see if they fake out the Ndidi. They do not. I get a crit. I don't. That probably mattered. I'm getting really lucky this session, to be honest. You go for the max Knuckle. Thank you for the free weakness policy, and I just win now. I don't see how they come back from that. Yeah, they forfeit. Awesome. Awesome. We are just taking points today. We are absolutely taking points. Let me get one more Scolipede game. I want to get one more Scolipede game if possible. Wow, actually, this doesn't look like a game where I can bring Scolipede. Um, this looks like a thunderous lead, to be honest. It covers all of their options as far as like fake out stuff and sun. Uh, it's just it's just the best. Same Moxie. Same Moxie. Hey. <laughs> All right, um, and I'll go in DD. I'll go in DD. Stack attack in the back in case they get Trick Room up. And I think my last Pokemon, uh, Urshifu doesn't look like a bad option, but I could have also gone with Tapu Finny, but I think Urshifu's better. Just for the Sucker Punch and stuff. You know, as long as I don't have Terrain up. <laughs> I mean, Urshifu just in general is a great Pokemon. There's Arctivish and Glacier. I mean, I'm assuming it's just going to be Max Hailstorm. Hmm. I could get in my Urshifu pretty safely, and Choice Band Wicked Blow seems disgusting. So I'll follow me. I'm pretty much sacking my NDD. Oh, I actually live, which means I am going to be able to go for my Choice Band Wicked Blow. Or not my Choice Band Wicked Blow, but my Choice Band Kills Combat into the Arctivish pretty much for free. Uh, I'll follow me here. I'm going to lose the boy, but it's not the worst thing. As long as I get rid of Arctivish, really. Is that my player? Maybe I just go for Choice Band Wicked. I don't know. Stack Attack is going to be my best option here, and I think if I Dynamax, I'm in a good spot. Full Close Combat. Follow me. Vicious Rend. That's fine. Get rid of you. You're more of a threat. And they're not Focus Sash, which is great. going to lose the boy, but Stack Attack looking nice here. And uh, if they end up going for Hitmontop, I, I kind of wish I had a fighting move on my on my boy now, but it's whatever. Uh, this is going to be a really close end game. There's the Ninetales. I actually very much appreciate the Nine. Um, likely going to be going for a Max Quake. They've already had two turns of Dynamax. It's in my best interest just to max guard this turn. And I'll fly to avoid damage. Not the Ninetales. As they end up doubling into the Thunderous. Really interesting play. I should always rock fall into Glacier here. And the reason that is, is because um, it'll actually create a situation where... I can remove the sun before the Venusaur is able to come in, because I'm assuming that's their last Pokemon, judging by how they played. They went for like a completely dual weather setup here. I missed the fly, which is unfortunate, as they miss a hypnosis, which is unfortunate for them. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Ooh, okay. Hold on. So 
I'm assuming they have a coverage move, and I don't know how well I would take this hit. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to max guard. Yikes. Okay, that's not good. I have to trick room here and just hope that I don't get put to sleep. If I don't get put to sleep and I can live in earth power, I can win still. I don't think I take an earth power. Uh, do I get put to sleep? Oh, I, I live. And I get my weakness policy. I might just reverse sweep here. I may just reverse sweep. I have to land all of my rock slides. Come on, baby. Stack attack. If you miss, you're getting released from Pokemon Showdown. Getting released from Pokemon Showdown if you miss. We're at 1 HP. We can clutch this game. I need you to knock out Venusaur right now. That's what I'm concerned about. The Venusaur. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You got it. It's plus two rock slide. Maybe just flinch. That's my best bet, probably. I don't think the rock slide will KO. Oh, this is so close. I knew I should went for sleep. <laughs> I might miss. Oh, no. Or that. GG. Well played. All right. So we didn't end up flinching, but yeah, we almost got the we almost got the comeback. 30% chance to win pretty much. All right. Let's get uh, one last game. I want to use the Scolipede. I want to use the Scolipede one more time. We already got like the showcase of how that strat works, but it wasn't great. And actually, this is a great Sculpey game. I don't I have no idea what this team is meant to do, but it's a great it's a great Sculpey game. Just because look, look at it. Just just look at it on the surface. Just look at them. Uh, I'm going to pass into Thunderous this game, if anything. And I think my last Pokemon, I honestly, I need no special attackers here. I need no special attackers. I could go Tapu Fini, though, to prevent status. Actually, it's kind of unnecessary. Let's just go Urshifu. I don't want to lose to Magnezone. I don't have much to break that beyond um, Scolipede, you know? Or actually, mm, we'll go Tapu Fini, yeah. Uh, Tapu Fini, Thunderous. But I'm probably going to pass into Thunderous if I don't just sweep with Scolipede. There's the Magnezone, there's the Clefairy. And they should feel relatively comfortable just letting me do my thing here. I don't believe Magnezone's able to KO me unless they like helping hand a, a move. And I do have, they're probably just gonna follow me anyway, so I can take advantage of my Focus Sash. Uh, will follow me in Swords Dance. They decide not to go for the thing. Ooh, and they double into me. Okay. Um, I want to send in my Tapu Fini to scare them off. I'll go ahead and go for my... I'll go for the Max Ooze into the Clefairy, and I'll protect my Tapu Fini here. Unless they helping hand. Scolipede can take pretty much everything, and they shouldn't feel threatened by Scolipede, in fact. Except with Clefairy. They may protect. They helping hand, hopefully, into Fini. Ooh, they live. That's kind of... Uh, oh, and they crit me. Come on, man. That's that's not gangsta. That's not gangsta. Yeah, I think I lose now because of that. That's kind of annoying. I would have lived that, I believe. Maybe. I don't know. I had the plus one special defense. All right. Um, What's my out here? Just to double protect. Get the double protect, and it knocks me out anyways, yeah. All right, good game. That crit was kind of big, but I suppose we got lucky enough this session. Anyways, we're going to end it there. Uh, it's been a little over 20 minutes, but thank you all for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully, I can show you some Scolipede power in that one game, but uh, yeah. With that, I'm going to call it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you liked. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.